So I'm coming on to full-time service as a result of the call-out as part of the uh, uh, support to op bushfire assist. And I'm going through the paperwork just like all the other reservists have gone through to make sure that they come on to full-time service and they're appropriately remunerated. This has been an outstanding activity to date. We've been so impressed with the number of our soldiers that have uh, turned up to be called out there. And we're getting them through the paperwork as quickly as possible and out to provide support to the state uh, and territory authorities. We've been impressed by the people. We've also been impressed by the support they've received from their employers and their families at this time of year. They've turned around and come in really quickly and we've been able to get them out and onto tasks as quickly as possible. A number of the people that are going out there know these communities. These are the communities that they come from. This is their hometowns and they know some of the people out there and they definitely want to be out there providing support to those communities. But what I'd like to do is thank them. Thank them for their support and their ongoing support. We engage with employers all the time about sharing this scarce resource, which is our reserve soldiers and their employees, to make sure that we're able to achieve objectives and tasks. We've been really grateful for the support from employers, releasing people and standing by them to support the rest of the country in this very difficult period. I'd like to say how proud I am of the reservists in the 2nd Division as well as in uh, 6th Brigade and 17th Brigade who've responded and been called out. Yes, it is the holiday period and uh, yes, we had some people ready for extreme weather conditions but we've called out a whole lot more. So thank them for their commitment and being here. Thanks to the families who are doing without those people at, at a very special time of the year. But I know those families are very supportive. And again, thanks to the employers for releasing the soldiers and the officers to be able to do that.